In this video, I'm going to show you how we integrate functions using the reverse chain rule. But let's have a quick recap of how the chain rule works. So if, in this example, g and f are both functions of x, then we can say g is a function of x and f is also a function of x. So then when you differentiate g with respect to f and f with respect to x, we can see that the dfs will cancel. So we're left with dg over dx. The reverse chain rule comes from when we integrate the right hand side. So if we took the integral of dg by df multiplied by df by dx, all with respect to x, you can see that the dfs will cancel and this dx will cancel with this one. So what we are left with is g as a function of x plus the constant term. So this is a quick overview of how the chain rule works. So we can use this idea to work out the integral in part a. So to apply the reverse chain rule in this example, we need to see that the derivative of this x cubed term will give us a 3x squared term, which is this function here. So to get the 3x squared term, we need to begin with this bigger function here. So we can say, let y equal, and we'll have this bigger function. Now remember that we need to get the 3 when we differentiate. So we're going to say let y equal x cubed minus 2 to the power of 4. A 4 because when we differentiate, we'll take away 1 from this power and we'll get the 3. So now we'll differentiate this. We get dy by dx will equal, the 4 will come down to here. So 4, lots of x cubed, minus 2, and then we'll take away 1 from the power to get 3. But now we need to differentiate the inner function. So we have d by dx of x cubed minus 2. This will give us 3x squared. So then we need to multiply this by this by the derivative of this inner function. So we'll multiply it by 3x squared. And now we can simplify this. So we have dy by dx will give us 12, but 4 times the 3, x squared from here multiplied by x cubed minus 2 all cubed. So now you can see that this derivative is similar to the integral that we've been asked to find. All we need to do here is to scale it so this 12 becomes a 3. And we can do that by multiplying this by 1 quarter, which means we would have had to have multiplied the original y by the same quarter. So this will give us our final integral, where we can say the integral is one quarter of x to the power of three minus two, all raised to the power of four, plus the constant term c. Okay, let's move on to question b. In question b, we need to write this square root of the power. So we'll say it's the integral of x multiplied by x squared plus 4 to a power of 1 half, which we're integrating with respect to x. So now we need to look at how do we get the x from this? Well, we differentiate this using the reverse chain rule. If we differentiate x squared, you get 2x, which will give you your x term. So we'll say let y equal x squared plus 4, and, then, and now we need to add 1 to this power, so when we differentiate it, we get back the half, so we'll have 3 over 2. Now when we differentiate this, we get dy by dx, we'll multiply the 3 over 2 over here, x squared plus 4, we'll take away 1 from the power, and now we need to multiply it by its derivative of, it, of this function here. So d by dx of x squared plus 4 gives us 2x. 
So this is then multiplied by the 2x. And now you can see that this 2 and this 2 will cancel. So dy by dx will be 3 lots of x squared plus 4 to the power of a half. And again, this is fairly similar to what you have here. We just need to multiply it by a third. And that will cancel out this 3. So y has to be multiplied by a third as well. And this will give us our final integral. So the integral will be 1 third of x squared plus 4 to the power of 3 over 2 plus the constant c. Okay, let's try two more examples. Okay, so for example 2a, I'm going to split this up as the integral of 2e to the x multiplied by 1 over e to the x plus 6, all integrated with respect to x. But now, can you see, if we differentiate this bigger function, the chain rule will make us differentiate this. And when you differentiate e to the x, you will get the e to the x term here. So we'll say, let y equal the derivative of this bigger function, which is ln of e to the x plus 6. And when I differentiate y, we get dy by dx will be 1 over e to the x plus 6 multiplied by the derivative of this inner function. So d by dx of e to the x plus 6. When we differentiate this, we get e to the x, the 6 will go. So we're multiplying this by e to the x. And I'm going to tidy this up a little bit. So dy by dx will be e to the x, this one here, over e to the x plus 6. But what I need is this 2 here. So I need to multiply this by 2, which means I need the y to be twice as big as well. So this will give us our integral, which will be 2 times the natural log of e to the x plus 6 plus the constant c. Okay, let's try question b. Okay, so for question b, again I'm going to split it up as two fractions. So we'll have x multiplied by 1 over x squared plus 1, integrated with respect to x. So now the question is, which bit do we need to differentiate? Well, when we differentiate x squared, we will get 2x, and that x bit will give us this one here. So this is what we're going to differentiate. So we'll say let y equal the derivative of this bigger function. So let y equal the natural log of x squared plus 1. And we'll differentiate this. We'll get dy by dx, which will be 1 over x squared plus 1, multiplied by the derivative of this inner function. So d by dx of x squared plus 1 gives us 2x. So we'll multiply this by 2x. Again, we'll tidy this up. 2x over x squared plus 1. And this is dy by dx. So now we need to scale this to match our original integral. So we're going to multiply it by one half, which means we need to do the same to our y. So our integral will be one half of the natural log of x squared plus one plus c. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea about how to use the reverse chain rule. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. You can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mrmathematics.com. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again and take care.